Hi YouTube, Edward Tindall here, and Sarah Tindall, and no Mikey Tindall, no children are around during the making of this film, so all y'all cry babies can quit crying. This is we just got baby this to... cane break rattlesnakes, and I've had them at a different location for all this time for safekeeping, and they have not been very well taken care of. They need to be fed. And they're turning down frozen thawed pinkies. I don't have no African soft furred rats right now, so today I'm going to attempt to, for the first time, feed these forcefully like I do my uh, corn snakes, but with caution. So, so we'll film for me. Hopefully, we will not get a tag on film today. Let me see here. Let me get this little baby over here. I do not recommend this for no one to do. It's extremely dangerous. And I'm a professional who's been doing this for years. When something simply will not eat, it has to be forced to eat. dangerous job. Somebody has to do it. And that's the most dangerous part right there. Can you get this? That fang is right at my thumb. It could take me any second. Did he swallow it? Or is he going to regurgitate it? Hopefully he'll go on and swallow it. Get a good view. I don't believe he's gonna swallow it, don't you? Yep. Yeah, it's so dangerous because they can easily tag you. Zoom in on there a little bit. It takes a little prick to do a lot of damage. They are highly, 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 highly venomous. Yep, that's going down. It's going down in it. Yes. I keep them alive for a little while longer until I get some live babies or is he trying to spit it out? He doesn't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Sometimes Things have to be forced a little bit. Looks like he's trying to throw it up. Maybe not. I don't know. You yeah, are, no. Uh. It looks like he's trying to throw it up. Which is unacceptable. Before I do that other one, we're going to see what this one's going to do. Life is about trial and error, people. he's doing taking it or no, not taking it he's trying but he's having trouble I would have pushed it further down his throat but didn't really have a right thing to do I recommend force feeding as a very last result because it does stress the animal a little bit Might as well take it down. I'll try that other one. See how he's going to do. This one needs to get that down in, a, in there somehow. To a little bit of issue with it. 
I'm just trying to throw it up, I guess. Which ain't gonna work. I need to put that down in there. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna try to kind of get that down his throat if I can. No problem. Well, a little shaky because this is dangerous, like I said. Oops. in there in it. Yes, down. Okay, you're all right. You're all right, baby. You're all right, baby. And this one, get him a little bit too, he's a little jumpy. Grabbing these just right is important. Grab them wrong. Well, hey. Have to excuse the shakiness, people. You see that? There's all the venom into that pinky. I'm gonna try to force it down his throat. Is it another job? Entirely. Oops, oops, don't give me. Me. Damn that thing right by my thumb. Getting a good view of this. In the hatch. That thing is too close for comfort. I gotta drop him like that. And there is their first forced meal that will keep them alive and kicking. I can't stress enough, do not try this at home, people. I don't care how experienced you are. As you can see, I've been doing this all my life, and this is not the proper way to do it. The proper way would be to put a tube over the top of the snake's head about um, this far down. How far down? Take about, let me point with a longer pointer, about this far down, or about this far down, so the head can't turn around a small enough glass pipe, and then you put the mouse into the tube and push it down, and they'll gradually eat it like that, large enough so that the snake can get its mouth open over it, and they will automatically open their mouth. So that's been a successful feeding and nice. And for future update, we have breast cancer care stuff here. This beautiful, lovely, lovely, lovely. So much lovely. And I have not got her to eat except wild caught mice. This big boy right here. Step back, baby. Well, if I can get it somewhere. This one here. Does eat frozen thawed. It's a lovely cotton mouth. Absolutely be -E beautiful. So, um, not to take up too much of y'all's time, but since I lost all my non-venomous, this is what I'm working on for now. And our other, we just brought him over here to eat. Yeah, I just brought him over to eat. Um, but, uh, yep, I'm breaking their laws by having these snakes, so just so y'all know, it is, it is legal to own every venomous snake in the state of Alabama except a coral snake. And I put nobody in danger, but... Self, 
if even that. Been handling snakes for 30 years, venomous, and never been bit but once, and that was because I accidentally stepped on a snake when I was eight years old out in the middle of the woods. I'd have bit me too. But I'm still here, still standing, still talking. It's not the do all doomsday of mankind to get bit by a snake. Peace, love, happiness, like, subscribe, and tell your friends.